from Concord University in Athens, West Virginia. This is Mountain Lion News. Welcome to Mountain Lion News. I'm Brandon Eanes. Schools and universities across the country have been impacted by the threat of COVID-19. Today, we take a closer look into the impact the pandemic has had on higher education. We start with sports programs and how they are coping with the virus. Reporter Nathaniel Hughes has more. This fall will look very different for the Concord University football team, as the Mountain East Conference recently decided to cancel all fall games and postpone any possibility of a season to the spring. Obviously, the most affected group of players by this decision are those who are supposed to be entering their senior season. Seniors' opinions on this recent news varied. When asked, senior linebacker Dwayne Porterfield had this to say. It's kind of stupid considering the fact that Division ones can play. I don't understand why we can't play. Um, it's the same sport, and they also have fans. If you saw the Florida State game, they had like 92,000 fans there, so I don't understand why we can't play. Just, I just don't understand. It's stupid to me. I also interviewed senior defensive lineman JT Turner, and here's what he had to say. Um, it was a little upsetting. Um, it's nice to know that it'll be pushed back to the spring, but um, overall, like, I guess it gives us a better time considering we had the previous spring canceled, one more time to prep. But um, it's definitely disappointing not to play fall ball. Ultimately, this fall will also include a schedule that is very similar to the spring for the Mountain Lions, as they hold workouts every weekday and will be holding 15 fall practices. Every football player will also be granted an additional year of eligibility. Additionally, workouts are held in pods of 10 and masks are required. As for a spring season, no official schedule has been released yet, but it is coming. Reporting with Mountain Lion News, this is Nathaniel Hughes signing off. Now with more on Concord Sports, we turn to reporter Julian Paderoy. COVID-19 has canceled many sports this year with Concord University's football team having to cancel this fall. As of now, the Concord football team has been conducting team meetings and practices to prepare for the season. COVID-19 continue to ravage the fall football season. I interviewed some of the players to see how they felt about not having a season. Most of it, we've been in the locker room, we've been in the weight room, we've been out here on the porch and inside when we have to. It's, it is what it is, but we're making the most of it and we're still getting bigger, faster, stronger. As linebackers, we love hitting people and uh, we, we want to get on the field as fast as we can. I haven't really got my dose of concussions this year. Safety guidelines have been implemented for the players to follow to keep them healthy during this time. Coach Ben Luther is trying to make the best out of the situation and talked about his BFF plan. Yeah, trying to get our mind right, you know, trying to get through this corona crisis, right? Trying to get, uh, you know, our BFS on bigger, faster, stronger. You heard me. Hey, Concord coming for you. You feel me? Even though the players are upset about not having a season, they have high hopes for the future. This is Julian Patter with CU Mountain Lion News. With more on the effects of COVID-19 on Concord's athletic program, here's MLN reporter Logan Bennett with more. The athletic world was hit with a huge problem as COVID-19 ravaged the country. There could no longer be games with thousands of fans cheering on their teams. The athletes themselves were also put at a risk doing the thing that they love. Arrangements had to be made in order to protect both athletes and fans. Earlier this fall, the Mountain East Conference approved a new schedule for fall sports. Football, women's volleyball, soccer, and cross country have been moved to the spring. The NCAA has also issued their own requirements for athletic training concerning the use of masks, indoor workouts, and outdoor workouts. Concord University has implemented new guidelines for their training. These new protocols are being used to protect the athletes, but how do the athletes feel about these changes? It can be good in one some ways and be bad in some others because it allows us to pre prepare for the season, but it hurts us because we have to follow these new guidelines, which is very different from regular uh, days. Like so. It can be very different and hard. I mean, it's a, it's a smart move, but I don't totally agree with it. Uh, the school's losing a lot of money by not playing, but our numbers are staying down. But it was probably a good idea if they would have just made the attendance, half the attendance for the football games and all the other sports, because they're still out there practicing and everything. I mean, they're all getting the contact. 
And I think they should have just shortened the season and played. But uh, pushing it back, they'll still get the money. So it just depends. For the foreseeable future, these protocols will be the new norm for college sports. But hopefully, the future of college athletics will be brighter with advancements in the fight against the COVID-19 virus. I'm Logan Bennett from Mountain Lion News. Up next, sharing with us the effects of COVID-19 on the cross-country team and its athletes, we have Carl Farmer. Hello, I'm Gabe Dunn, and here is your Campus Connection. On Fridays, from now to the end of this semester, the Frank Marshall Library will be holding Find Free Fridays. If you bring a donation to the Concord University Food Bank, the library will waive the late fee for any overdue items. On October 21st and 22nd, Karen Varanch and the Concord Theater Department will be hosting student-directed one-act plays, which will be written by MLN's own Cameron White, from 7 to 9 p.m. over Zoom. Check concord.edu for more info. On October 22nd, there will be virtual trivia night from 8 to 9 p.m. Check your email for more information. On October 23rd and October 30th, Concord will be hosting Friday Night Frights, they will be streaming horror films from now until the end of October, as long as you're using Concord's Wi-Fi. Check your email for more information. On November 6th and November 7th, Concord will be hosting their fall open house. Check-in starts at 8.30 a.m. Although our campus may not seem connected during this COVID-19 outbreak, make sure to follow Concord's and the CDC's guidelines for maintaining safety. Remember to wash your hands and wear a mask. I'm Gabe Dunn, and this has been your Campus Connection. Stay safe. Welcome back to Mountain Lion News. Up next, we continue our pandemic coverage as we learn more about the effects of COVID-19 on Concord athletic programs. Mountain Lion reporter Carl Farmer has more. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Concord Broadcasting. Today, we will be sharing with you guys how Concord University has been handling the coronavirus pandemic and especially dealing with things like the cross-country team and student-athletes and things of that nature. Uh, we hope you all enjoy and thank you for tuning in. First, we will be checking in with Concord's freshman, Davis Farmer. Uh, I've worn my mask every day everywhere I go and tried to avoid being in big crowds. Nothing much other than that. Now we check in with student-athlete Caleb Hatcher of the cross-country team. It ended the season before we planned it, and uh, we haven't had to train in the ways that we had wanted to, but I think it's brought a team close together. Now we check in with student athlete Nate Leitner as he gives us insight into how he feels COVID-19 has affected the cross-country team. It has seriously impacted our competitions because we haven't been able to really go to any competitions, but practice has been generally the same for the most part. Thank you all for tuning in to Concord Broadcasting, and we hope you have a great evening. Goodbye. While many sports have been placed on hold this year due to the pandemic, one sport remains in full swing. MLM reporter Kirby Campbell brings us the details. Hello, and welcome to Mountain Lion News. I am Kirby Campbell. With sports all across the country having to decide if they want to play during the pandemic, there is one sport that is moving on with their fall season full steam ahead. West Virginia high school golf is in full effect, and one player in the state is very ambitious about his senior golf season. The reigning West Virginia state champion 
and two-time West Virginia amateur champion Todd Duncan of Shady Spring High School is trying to cap off his junior golf career with one more state title. With many colleges within the state already offering Duncan scholarships to play golf at their university, he has a big decision to make come after this fall golf season. But he has made it clear that he is focused on the task at hand for now, defending his state title. The driving range at the resort at Glade Springs that I had the pleasure of meeting up with Duncan on has been his home for the last six years. Not only has he hit countless amounts of golf balls at the resort, but he has picked up his fair share as well. That's right. Duncan has been a key part of the golf staff for the last three years at the resort and has made great strides in his golf game while doing so. I was lucky enough to get an interview from not only his boss, but his longtime mentor, Kyle Long, who is a Concord alum and now the head golf professional at the resort. I'm here with uh, head golf pro at the resort at Glade Springs, Kyle Long. Um, Kyle, we just saw Todd Duncan uh, punch his ticket to go to the state tournament. Uh, real quick, how is it having him as an employee and a player at your golf course? It's great. You know, it's actually kind of one in its own. You know, he works really hard on his golf game every day, and then when he's at work, he's dedicated, great personality, always has his head up. You know, it's wonderful. We will find out in a few short months what is the next step in Todd's golf career. But one thing is for sure, the future is certainly bright. Kirby Campbell, Mountain Lion News. Finally this evening, we bring you a tradition that Concord and many schools around the nation look forward to every year. Only this year, it had to take place online. Here's MLN reporter Grace Watson with more on Homecoming from Home. Here at Concord University located in Athens, West Virginia, the coronavirus pandemic has altered many events on Concord University's campus, and homecoming is no exception. The CDC guidelines requiring individuals to social distance and learning parties of no more than 10 people, Concord University will be having virtual events for homecoming week. Homecoming week activities will begin on Monday, September 28th. There is a full week of events leading up to homecoming, which will take place on Saturday, October 3rd. This year's homecoming will offer students and alumni the opportunity to participate in homecoming activities in person and virtually. There are also interactive activities such as the Concord U Virtual Trivia Night that will be on Thursday, October 1st. It offers participants the ability to post their answers during their trivia game. It would not be a homecoming without a tailgate, and this semester is no different. However, this semester tailgating will be done virtually on October 3rd beginning at 10 a.m. To register, visit www.concord.edu slash homecoming. Students on Concord University's campus also voiced their opinion regarding having a homecoming from home. Homecoming being offered virtually is a great idea, especially since events can have so many people attending and there can be so many people congregating. I think it's a great idea to have it online. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't think they should be trying so hard to have something like we could have had last year where it was all like in person and it's everybody and it's always this great to do. I think they shouldn't be doing anything. I think they should be saving their money. Just, you know, there's, there's stuff they could do, like do like a tailgate party or something like that where we can all socially distance from our cars. But to do it all online when there's not like the – hoopla of it all, which I think they're trying to create. For additional information, visit www.concord.edu slash homecoming. This is Grace Watson reporting from Concord University for Mountain Lion News. That's all we have for this week's edition of Mountain Lion News. Catch us next time for all the latest in Concord news and events. Thanks for watching.